Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about when a person is around um, the narcissistic type and they're flying monkeys, you know, and maybe more than one. Maybe one's a, a narcissistic, has narcissistic behaviors and the other one has histrionic behaviors or into both. And uh, maybe the other person is just the, the bystander or could be their target, scapegoat, whatever. And then, of course, you know the flying monkeys, the ones that protect them and take up for them and they see them, oh, they're so wonderful, and they're doing nothing wrong, and there's probably been a smear campaign. Woo, lots. You know, and it just goes on and on. Like, the histrionic might be the one to play the victim. The narcissistic one could be, too. Now, I'm not making any diagnose. It's just the behaviors of them. Okay. And so when some, the, the one that's the scapegoat or the target or just the innocent bystander and nothing's going on, um, it has some reason they have to take care of themselves, you know, practice self-care. It could even be for something, you know, physical or whatever. And that, uh, the other, the others, are trying to not let that person do that. They're trying to um, run the whole show. You know, I mean, there are different reasons why people have to practice self-care. Um, let's say even physically, such as if they have... Um, diabetes. I have diabetes. I can understand this. And I can relate to it, you know, to say that, you know, like you have to eat, you don't have to, but it differs for everybody. But they need to eat at this time. You know, that person needs to eat at this time or that time or, you know, whenever. But the that other group, they don't want to. They want to eat when they want to and say they want to eat at a place, restaurants that serve a lot of carbohydrates. And they want uh, meals to include a lot of carbohydrates. They're not thinking about that diabetic. They're thinking about themselves, what they want, only what they want. And um, they might even get upset with the diabetic because the diabetic says, no, I don't want to eat there. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make those meals or eat your meals that have a lot of carbohydrates. Oh, come on. You know, they do that. Oh, come on, just try it. And then, like, the histrionic might get really upset if you don't try something that's filled with carbohydrates because that's what they want you to do. Or they want you to do it so they can brag about it, you know. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, this, this kind, I have seen these kinds of things happen. As a diabetic, you bet I have. And have one who has seen a lot of, like I say, they have narcissistic histrionic blends. Some were actually diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and from what I understand yeah they can be comorbid or just have the characteristics of other personality disorders too. Anybody can really. Just, that doesn't make them have a disorder. Diagnosing is left up to the professionals. You know like counselors. Somebody licensed by the state or wherever you live that's the person who's the profession that's allowed to do that. Life coaches, not, at least not here, are not counselors. They don't diagnose. But it differs in different places, yeah. Anyway, so when a person is this, you know, you would think, well, we're, you know, people who are not personality disordered, maybe, so, you know, with the cluster B kind, would, you know, think, okay, if it's a diabetic, you don't push, you know, carbohydrates onto a diabetic. Uh, you don't try to uh, guilt them, shame them. Uh, you know, you just don't. But this kind I have seen will. And I've also seen this kind of person also say, you know, if you even take a, you know, piece of cake or something small, really small piece of cake, which some diabetics shouldn't do at all, um, they'll, they will guilt and shame that person. It's, it winds up being, it, with some of them, a catch-22 even. Yeah. And there could also be, I, my dad was type 1, I'm type 2 diabetic. My dad was type 1 and there are times like when his his glucose would go too low he would eat something you know, something very sweet really fast and then you know you test it and go from there whatever it needs to be done. Now that's a person who knows what they're doing they, they know the score they've asked their doctor, doctors told them what to do but you can bet there are some people who would go around and say you know, like saw that and say well there's your problem I've had that happen to me. I'm top two. I don't take insulin. But um, 
I was at a job one time and uh, I worked with a lot of, and some, not a lot, but some of them were mean girls. Not a, everybody. I think it was actually a small portion of them, uh, the people there. And one woman told me that I had um, felt really woozy and I really dizzy. And, um, you know, I went to immediately and got some something out what was only the only thing there, a vending machine. And I uh, got something like, I don't know, some piece, some candy. And she walked up to me and she said, well, there, that's your problem. <laughs> you know, some people are just downright, yeah. And it's none of their business. It was none of her business. It's no, nobody else's business to tell people what to do, you know, about their diabetes. Now, if it's somebody's doctor, yeah, if it's somebody's healthcare professional, somebody's family that's seeing that something really bad's happening, you know, maybe ask, is there something going on before just jumping and saying, you know, giving people advice when you're not the healthcare professional. <laughs> okay, well, I should probably go ahead and wrap this up. But if you've been watching me for a while and you remember me sitting in this area, uh, there was just a big, huge, blank, I mean, empty field. Not really many trees and all. But, yeah, over the last, I don't know how many months, it's gotten pretty much yeah, filled up. I don't know what some of the places will be. I mean, I'm talking like there's big building. Looks like it's going to be something. Maybe hotels. I don't know. But anyway, just a little vlog part. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. But if you want to subscribe to this channel and you haven't already, you can click the circle icon. If you want to uh, watch another video, you can click on the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, share on your own social media if you would. I'll talk to you on another video.